This series of quick start modules covers the connections typically made when setting up a smart server. This module covers LawnWorks FT10 and PLT connections. The LawnWorks connection is located on the top of TPFT10 models. FT10 is polarity insensitive, so it doesn't matter which twisted pair lead is connected to which lawn terminal. FT10 networks may be connected in either a bus or free topology with up to 64 devices per segment. Bus topology networks use daisy-chained connections and are terminated at each end of the bus. Free topology networks use a flexible wiring structure such as a ring, star, or loop in any combination and can be terminated anywhere on a segment. Additional segments can be created with LawnWorks routers or physical layer repeaters. While routers and repeaters both provide additional device capacity and extended cable length, routers are preferred as they intelligently partition sections of the network to increase total throughput. TPFT10 terminators are made up of a resistor capacitor network using the values shown. Terminators can be purchased from LawnWorks distributors or online from Echelon. If shielded cable is used to accommodate a noisy environment, the shield should be grounded at least once per network segment and preferably at each device using the RC circuit highlighted here in red. For more information on wiring FT10 networks, refer to the Network Cabling and Connections for FT Devices chapter of the Series 5000 chip data book and the Junction Box and Wiring Guidelines for Twisted Pair LawnWorks Networks document. You can use these screw terminals on the Smart Server PL20 with external coupling model to communicate with virtually any AC or DC scenario, including three-phase AC systems. In this case, the Twisted Pair interface is polarity sensitive. Connect LAWN A PLT Plus to the positive terminal of the external coupler and LAWN B PL Minus to the coupler's ground terminal. Refer to the Smart Server's hardware guide for details. This completes part two of the Connecting a Smart Server Quick Start modules. The next module covers RS-232, Modbus RS-485, Pulse Meter, and Digital I.O. connections.